Bowie. Thank you, David. Welcome to Shy the Radio Show. How's everybody doing this weekend? <laughs> Having a little bit of fun? Yeah, a little bit of fun. Well, we got three out of the four people in Shy the Band uh, this episode. Rory went home for the weekend. It's Easter, Easter weekend. weekend. Cool. What What do you do on Easter weekend exactly? Um, you go home and uh, y- you basically make Easter bread with your cousins and uncles. Uh, what is how is it different from like regular bread? It has uh, too much yeast in it. Ooh, that sounds great. It is. <laughs> it makes things very interesting. It uh, it makes it taste buttery and weird. And okay. Then, um, as the Easter bread is cooking in the oven, you watch all of the Scream movies. Um, every movie in the Scream trilogy, you just watch them all. Why? It's fun. Okay. So you do that, and then on Easter Sunday, you eat a little uh, lamb. You slaughter a lamb. Okay, cool. I, I'm into that. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Uh, we have mint jelly. You want some of that mint jelly? Oh, I love that. Oh, you do? Yeah. Really? Mint jelly and lamb. It's pretty good. Yeah. But in a weird way. I, I'm always, like, disgusted at the same time. Okay. Um, so, yeah, he's probably going to be doing that this weekend. This is the first weekend I'm actually not doing that. Really? I always go home for Easter. I don't think I've ever missed an Easter weekend in my life. Do you have any plans to to substitute Easter dinner? Um, I'll be going to Commons and crying into a plate. That is the worst plan ever. Yeah. Very sad. Yeah. I'd rather listen to uh, King of the Hill sound bits. Me too. Than have to do that. Well, I don't know if I would go that far, but <laughs> pretty close. Um, Alex is in the studio. Yeah. Uh, Hi, Alex. You're not so a guest. Alex is a part of the band, but he hasn't been talking at all. Alex, what's going on? Nothing at the moment. I'm going home for Easter as well. Oh, you of course, are? I don't have to travel very far. Mm-hmm. So it, what I explained as Easter weekend, is that pretty accurate? I've never had, I've never ever actually, I've only had lamb once. Oh, really? And I didn't like it. What do you usually eat on Easter Sunday? I usually have, usually go to my aunt's and we have a ham or a turkey. Uh huh. But this year we're having chicken pot pie, so. Ooh. So that's pretty interesting. Turkey on Easter, um, what do you do for Thanksgiving Day? You do the same thing. Our family loves turkey. Now, I understand that you had some family over for a Halloween night celebration. Uh, What do you eat on Halloween? We don't generally have family over for that. We're just giving out candy. Well, you did this year because you almost didn't show up to our gig. You remember that? (laughs) I didn't have family over. Yeah, they, they flew in, like you said. Yeah, I thought you said you had family flying in. Uh oh. I said I might need to be home giving out candy, no. but I was there. Why would we rem- remember it specifically that you needed to be with family? I think you had family flying in from Georgia. and, and Right. I didn't say that. I ain't got no family in Georgia. Did you just not want to play the gig with us on Halloween night? I literally don't remember saying that. All right, interesting stuff. Well, we're going to... Um, listen to some music about jelly uh, since since yeah. we mentioned mint jelly. Um, do you use mint jelly on, on Easter Sunday? Me? Yeah. Yep. I've totally never had it. Really? Well, she also don't use mint jelly. <laughs> the shy video show. <laughs> the weakest. <laughs> the weakest. <laughs> That's the weakest way we've ever said shy the radio show.
She'll make you breakfast. She'll make you toast. But she don't use butter. And she don't use cheese. She don't use jelly or any of these cheese. Tissues or a sleeve. You don't use napkins or any of these. her hair to be real on she So I didn't mean to blow your ears out yeah, in so, the beginning. Um, Jordan put on the song, and uh, this is my favorite part of the song, the sending. <laughs> that's, the cool, that's the coolest part. I love that track. It's a um, great track. Yeah, but when Jordan put it on, I really uh, threw my head back because I had my headphones on, <laughs> and it blasted in my ears like that scene in Back to the Future when... Uh, Marty McFly puts on uh, Ben Halen. Yeah. Crispin Glover sleeping in a bed, and he straps some headphones well, on him and just... Alex, please turn that Don't off. Don't do that. Kyle's not here. No one's going to laugh at it. King of the Hill is is a sad show, and our, I mean, our radio show is sad enough. Yeah, I think. absolutely. Um. So, uh, yeah, Back to the Future, uh, Flaming Lips, you don't use jelly. She... Uh, Alex won't be using mint jelly for his Easter Sunday celebration. Um, what else is going on? I don't know. Alex, what did you do over spring break? I didn't get to talk to you at all. I just stayed home while my car is in the shop. Oh, really? What's Why going is it on in the shop? Car? It had a mechanical issue. Ew. But um, insurance is covering that? or Yes. That's good. What insurance do you have? Um, uh, State Farm. That's a pretty good one, right? I'm not very familiar. You would be maybe good with insurance or bad? Um, I've taken one insurance course. Yeah. Didn't discuss specific companies, really. Okay. Um, and I haven't really looked at their policy, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. I think it would be fine. Okay. Very good insurance. So you're in good hands. Um, is That's that all state. Oh. 
they're the ones that go, we are farmers. Bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. Oh, okay. So why are they farmers? In insurance? Oh, wait. No, wait. That's farmers insurance, I think. <laughs> or is like a good neighbor state farm is there. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Right. Right. Why do uh, multiple insurance companies make farm references? Is there some connection between farming and insurance? I mean, farmers can take out insurance policies on um, their crops. Like, if they don't have a good yield one year, they can they can buy insurance ahead of time and uh, be compensated for the crops that they the money that they didn't make. That's cool. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. Alrighty, well, I guess uh, in terms of insurance, anything will do. <laughs> TV on the radio, that was a little uh, reference. Oh, nice. And, uh, we're, we're just going to listen to this track, uh, Will Do. It's, okay. It's one, of, it's one of my favorite alt rock tracks, I think. That's good. Yeah. It's fun. Here it is. It's a little melancholy. It's great, though. TV on the radio. I like the ending of that song. It just kind of fades out with the 
melancholy uh, xylophone, and, and he's singing that. That's a cool song. I haven't heard low, it before, low. actually. Yeah. Yeah, check out uh, more TV on the radio. Andrew has been, like, um, messaging me recently. My friend Andrew has been mm-hmm. messaging like, wow, this is a really fun band. I've been listening to a lot of yeah, TV on the radio. Yeah, I need to check them out. They're fun, but they also have a cool, cool melancholy, um, slowed down, more mellow tracks like that. Yep. Alex, you're a TV on the radio fan? TV on the radio? Yep. Yep, that that's m- the band we just listened to. Yeah, I, I never heard of them before. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, anyway, uh, you want to play a song, right? You wanna yeah, yeah, I had a song for you all. <laughs> Let's do it. What, what song? It's called The Beat, and it's by Boney James. How uh, did you get to know Boney James? Through my, uh, through my smooth jazz collection. How did you acquire your smooth jazz collection? I bought it at the store. Over 12 years. All right, here's Bonnie James. uh, Interesting. Like it so far. Reminds me of You Can Call Me Al. The Paul Simon of jazz. Yep.
All righty. Batucata. The Beat by Boney James. It's pretty cool stuff. I kind of like that. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, virtuosic playing across the board there. Interesting production. A lot of um, overlapping of, of a lot of different textures and melodies sort of integrating into one another. Yes, I love to drum to that type of beat. Mm. Upbeat and fun. Yeah. Tinny? Uh, that's, that might have just been the, the quality of that particular upload. <laughs> Yeah. It's not like that when I play it. Mm. <laughs> really? Okay. We probably shouldn't be playing things off of uh, these sad websites, <laughs> but we continue to do it. And we're going to continue with the next song. That's also on a sad website. <laughs> um, hey, don't push it. It's uh, It's been a while since I listened to some Interpol. Mm-hmm. Have you been listening recently, or is this no, be the first time in a while? First time in a while. Yeah. And this will be my first time at ever. Ever. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Interpol's great. Great band. Um, <laughs> this is audio from the music video. I don't know what this is, but the song's going to start soon. Power things on the West Coast. How's it going, everybody? 
This is a uh, Shy the Radio Show. Easter special edition. Yep, Easter edition. Uh, what have we done that's Easter so far? Talked about jelly. Um, you know, at the dinner table, you might need the Heimlich maneuver in order to um, get rid of that Easter food in case you choke on it. Um, what was that other song that Alex played before? Uh, Boney James, Bat- Batacuda. Nothing I can do with that. I can't really tie that into Easter. The beat? The, the beat of the Easter. Beat. Do you eat a lot of... Do you eat any beets on no, Easter? No, that's not going to work. Yuck and double yuck. Mm. Um, all right, so the next thing we are doing is listening to another song that Alex loves. Um, it's uh, Mindy a Bear, and the song is named what, Alex? I'll Be Your Home, featuring Keb Mo. I'll Be Your Home, featuring Keb Mo. Is this a Radio 104.1 song, Alex? Nope. Where did you hear this song? I actually went out and bought the album, and I heard it then. What made you buy this album? Because I've been a Mindy a Bear fan. All right, I'm just trying to figure out how you became a Mindy a Bear fan. I don't know. It must have been, I think it was a smooth jazz station. But this song is not smooth jazz. Okay. Interesting. Let's uh, see how this goes. If you've lost Easter. Your way, know that I'm here to stay. Shy the radio show. You know I'll reach out my hand. And I'll always stand by you. When you're down and out. Been left high and dry. You just call out my name. There ain't no shame in crying. I'll always be by your side. We'll walk the winding road. I'll be I'll be your home 
Friday. That was a nice song, heartfelt. Um, it 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 felt uh felt nice, happy. Yep, Alex. If you had to describe that song as a Hallmark card, what would the Hallmark card say? Oh God, I'm not sure I could do that. <laughs> Interesting prompt, though, right? I don't read a lot of Hallmark cards. Well, just like make one up. What would this ha- what would this card say? Um, soulful. So the card would just simply say soulful. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> that would be the most abstract Hallmark card <laughs> I've ever seen. Well, those things are damn expensive, by the way. <laughs> I'd love that. Imagine getting a card uh, <laughs> <that says> soulful. <laughs> I want that card. <laughs> Uh, Alex, you should get a job at Hallmark. I want to see that. I want to see more of those cards. But do you think that they'll be like, oh, great job, Alex, or like, Alex, you really need to pick up the work. Putting one word on a card isn't going to cut it. Yeah, they they would say the latter, but, I mean, they wouldn't understand how beautiful and and abstract the simplicity of open story form is. Okay. Quite. Is that what you intended, though? Were you going for an abstract uh, birthday card? Actually, yes, I was. Or was that like a Father's Day card? Well, if I had to be frank about it, I would say it was more of a Father's Day card. Or was it like a... Actually, oh, do you want to... I was going to go with, uh, like, congratulations, you have a baby boy card. So, like, uh, like your baby seems soulful, that kind of thing. I was going to say Thanksgiving, because... After you're done eating, your soul might be full. Holy shit. <laughs> well, um, if you want to be that way about it, fine. I, I want to hear some more music from Hallmark, so I'm going to put on a Wilco song. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is uh, more melancholy. I don't know. I, I guess it could be perceived that that song we just heard was melancholy, but it was kind of like uplifting type deal. Um, this is sort of like... Uh, if if Hallmark got angsty, maybe this is a card they would make. <laughs> yeah. Angsty stuff. Um, let's listen to this. Volko, at least that's what you said. First track off A Ghost is Born. It's a cool track. Hope you all enjoy it. Shy the radio show.
All right, everybody. Try the radio show. That was some Wilco. A very mellow show today. Yeah, it is. I think everyone's uh, maybe feeling chilled out uh, because of the weather. Could that be it? Yeah, probably. We'll see about that, actually. Future tense. Interesting. So we, <laughs> we haven't seen it already? Uh, apparently, uh, Jordan has a number he wants to play, and then I'm going to get a little wild on you guys. Oh, really? Yeah, because it seems like Jordan is going to continue this sort of melancholy vibe. Mm-hmm. He wants to play a Beach House song. So yeah. that's, that's not going to help the cause in, in terms <laughs> of getting upbeat and happy about the uh, foggy, yeah. weird, gloomy weather that we I'll have today. I'll make that happen. All right, great. Well, for now, we're going to have to suffer through some more existential crises. Uh, <laughs> Beach House, Master of None. Beach House is a fun little band. Fun band. We uh, had the opportunity to see them live this past fall. It was a cool show. Yeah, I liked it. Cool. Joyful show. I thought it was cool presence. Some people might think it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I After the show, was criticizing the members of Beach House for being boring performers, which I think I stand by. I don't, I don't know that I would enjoy seeing them... Uh, at another live show, just standing yeah. on stage. I think the scariest part of that show for me was thinking that the opening acts, the Weepies, were the ones that <laughs> were Beach House. <laughs> this isn't Beach House, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> well, what was that? Romantic States? Was yeah. Um, yeah, they're doing what they do. Minimalistic in Iraq. <laughs> I, um. I think a little too stripped down yep. for my liking. <laughs> it it felt so stripped down to the point of satirizing minimalistic rock. Anyway, I guess let's listen to Beach House and stop talking about romantic states. Okay. No, let's listen to romantic states. <laughs> I'm going to put on one of their Yay. songs. <laughs> no, I'm going to put on this Beach House song. Um, This is going to be fun, right? I hope so. Okay. Try the radio show. Easter edition. Inspired by Twin Peaks.
right. I like that song. Um, I think we were right about melancholic vibe continuing. On the nose, Twin Peaks references in the music video, probably. Yeah, we were watching the video and um, totally a Twin Peaks inspired band. Uh, really shows the prevalence of that show. Like indie rock bands, I, I think not only Beach House is an indie rock band that's heavily inspired by Twin Peaks. You can kind of see it in their aesthetic, like their music, that whole dream pop thing that's happening. Um, as well as we just watched this music video and they have like red drapes in the background, a spotlight on the performers. Mm -hmm. Um, Would you ever write an honors thesis on the use of Twin Peaks imagery in indie pop music videos? I think the answer to that is, unfortunately, yes, I would write exactly that <laughs> honors thesis. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. And the panel would just be like, this dude's a total classic college asshole. <laughs> like, yeah. really? Really, dude? You think this is, like, cool? <laughs> you think you're cool? All right, so Alex has a song. He's holding up a, a phone that shows me what song it is. Is it's it a screenshot or is that a zoomed-up photo? <laughs> it is a screenshot. Uh, hold on. TRW. By TRW? Yes. I, I'm getting nothing. Is it Thomas Robinson Williamson? Yes. <laughs> wow, that's really a mouthful <laughs> of a name. Um, so what what should I be searching here? Videos of, of hold on. On YouTube. TRW. Uh, TRW and then hold on. I, I can't seem to find this. Uh, can you maybe just send me the link via Facebook or something? Or we'll just plug your phone in to the, to the thing. You want to do that? You could just plug your phone in right into here and play it from your phone if you want. Oh, yeah. you don't want to do that? Alimony Blues? That sounds like a really sad upper middle class song. Rivers of Paradise. All right, try some. So this is a, a very exciting part of the show in which <laughs> we um, search for the music we want to play on YouTube. I love the sound of the aux cable going back <laughs> into your MacBook. You don't have to <laughs> <laughs> emphasize attention on that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, here is Hold On by TRW. I don't know what to expect what from this. What is TRW? Clear, Cle Credence Clearwater Revival? It's uh, Thomas Rearwater. Yes. Revival. Yep. Uh -oh. Shy the radio show. Yeah. Taking it out this to the country town. Is, is this the part of the show where I order pulled pork off the menu? Yes, you do. I hope this is not country. With some ribs on the side. Ribs on the side. Ribs on the side. Ribs on the side. Yeah. Don't forget the coleslaw. Don't forget the coleslaw. Don't forget the coleslaw. Baked beans. Baked beans. Sweet tea. Baked beans. Sweet tea, baked beans. Sweet tea, baked beans. Sweet tea. Chicken cutlet. Chicken cutlet? I don't know. I don't think that was barbecue at all. I don't think so. It's southern barbecue. <laughs>
of that track sort of cut off the ending of that track the youtube video That's, we're playing no it actually goes right into the next track on the album oh, really? so that was the end that was just hilarious to hear this uh, very melodramatic vocal ending amongst different singers yeah that's a that's a big part of uh, mark williamson who was yeah. the lead singer for that band oh really is he in the uh, any in any other work that we might know unfortunately no Mm-hmm. Okay, I could see for why probably. It's uh. <laughs> do you have anything nice to say about the song? <laughs> Let's start with the nice things. Um. <laughs> All right. Okay, wait. Well, I, oh. <laughs> I was just like I was up. referencing before the song. Yeah. I I imagine going to a nice barbecue restaurant and probably hearing this song. So like within the right context, you might actually enjoy this music. I don't say I would enjoy it. It just puts me in the... It's l- ambient along with the setting of a typical barbecue restaurant. There's probably license plates from each state on the wall. and oh <laughs> There was nothing country about There's that song. There's two different barbecue sauces, one mild, one very hot. Would you say that listening to the studio recording of that song sort of transports you into that setting and that's a good thing yes okay would i listen to that song outside of the barbecue restaurant that is an answer that will not astound you because no but but, okay but the argument i'm making is listening to this in the studio a different setting it transports you into the barbecue setting which is nice yeah sure so maybe that that's a good thing and maybe if you want to go to a barbecue restaurant without actually attending the barbecue restaurant, you put on this music. Is that, right. That's fair? I close my eyes, and I'll say I'll take the beef brisket. But it won't come. No. Yeehaw. Anyway, I believe that's the show. Um, it's dinner time now, right? Yeppers. Yep. Alex, you got any uh, final words? No, except we were disappointed. Rory had to break for New York. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's Easter for you. I'd be going home, too, um, if I didn't have so much work. Easter, uh, yeah, like I said, this is the first time I'm e- missing Easter weekend. It's kind of weird. And I feel like I am going to be crying into a comments plate on Sunday. Easter's on Sunday, right? Yep. Okay. So he's I'm actually... Easter's accompanying my mom to New York to pick up my sister from JFK Airport. Interesting. She was over there in she was over in Barcelona oh. for the week for soccer actually. Whoa. Yeah. Yukon went to Barcelona to play some soccer. Southern Oh, Southern Connecticut University. Yes. Okay. All right. Um and they played some exhibition games with local teams. Did some excursions. Uh, went to a. <laughs> What's so I'm just, fun? I'm just laughing because what a weird way to end the episode. I know. Like, <laughs> talk, talking about a, a college soccer team. Is this going to be Barcelona. on the, the the cover page for this YouTube video? It is. <laughs> it it totally is going to be one of the keywords. Oh my gosh. Barcelona soccer trip. I don't know what it should be. College college soccer team goes to Barcelona. That's what it's going to be. Yep. Anyway, I had a great time. Did you guys have a great time tonight? I had a great time. Yeah. It felt like a mild it felt like a mild time. It was like a mild show. Yep. Which yeah. I Interesting. Th- I thought that was cool. Wasn't weren't any cocaine <laughs> uh, pools being sh- thrown around. <laughs> no, there was no coke. There was no uh, vodka handle happening. So uh, a different aesthetic, this show. Very on our rockers, this show. Yeah, I think everybody seemed on Would you rockers. agree with that, Alex? Were we 
All on our rocker. So, yeah, I would I would agree with that. By the way, I I read your uh, Facebook status. Remember that Facebook status you wrote about the guys who are off their rockers? I read that to one of my friends from home, and he almost started crying from how much he was laughing about that Facebook status. <laughs> he loved that. Oh, I also saw you posted some pictures of you like it with different hairdos online. That was pretty funny. Yeah, I did that. That was great stuff. Did you like label the different photos with like uh, different uh, hair did like mm, Liza Minnelli? No, I didn't do that. <laughs> Liza Minnelli. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Was one of them Liza Minnelli or like Boy George? I think was one of them. One of them was Bob Weir. <laughs> That's right. That's totally <laughs> right, actually. Which was totally weird. Yeah, Bob Weird. I don't think I've ever heard someone say Bob Weird, actually. Why hasn't that really? been thrown around? Oh, you're you're very familiar <laughs> with Bob Weird. I think that's just such an obvious pun to make. <laughs> I don't think I've ever thought of it. Um, anyway, I I loved it. Loved it. Great, great job, yep. everyone. On that note, I end you with. But you just don't listen. Oh, back to the barbecue restaurant. Is this because of Easter Rabbit Knows All? Oh, I didn't even think about that, but yeah, it's beautifully thematic. I know you love your themes. I do. Uh-oh. Here we go. Just wait for the drop. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend.